खुद से ही है हर खुशी खुद से ही है देश नगी I have the very lovely Ushoshi Sengupta, who is the brand new, the first ever, I am she, Miss Universe India. India. Congratulations to Thank you. Thank you so much. So tell me, Ushoshi, I know it's a much asked question <laughs> and everyone wants to know at that moment when you heard and realized you were the winner, how did you feel? And we know you had the same response, <laughs> but that looked very, very sweet. On stage, Shah Rukh Khan was making fun of this whole Miss Universe India poses, you know, all that jazz we do. Aww. So backstage, I was like, if I win, I am not doing that. But the moment my name was announced, my hands just went and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't help it. Couldn't help it. And I just wanted to run and hug ma'am and I think she was standing right in front of me. I think that was just my best day. I can imagine. So what inspired you to enter the pageant? Shushmita said, I think uh, she has been inspiring all the models in throughout the country since the time she won Miss Universe in 1994. So I think for 16 years I've always dreamt of winning this pageant and you know going for Miss Universe and when she got the franchisee and she started the pageant, I am she. I think this year was just for me. I think God has been really kind to me. Getting groomed by her was the best thing that could ever happen to me. I normally don't come to uh, functions, beauty pageants and all. I'm very shy of women. <laughs> they had to force me to marry my wife. Yeah, I had trouble doing that. Uh, and, uh, but then uh, Sush told me she'll kiss me if I come here. So I kind of came. So she did, she did kiss me, yes. But the problem is when you have tall ladies kissing you, it's an issue. She kissed me on my head. And there's no cheap thing in it. But when she kissed me, my hair is open. So what do you think you can share with us a few secrets, the tips of grooming that you thought were the most helpful to be on stage because it's not easy to be on stage. Well, uh, ma'am told me one thing and she, I mean we used to have classes with her every day and she used to tell us that uh, winning is an attitude and uh, there has to be something in you that that will make you you know stand out from the rest of the people and that one thing you have to identify yourself nobody can help you in doing that. For me, in this pageant, throughout the grooming period, the best thing that happened was understanding what is my positive things and what are my negative things, so that I can work on the positives and, you know, make things happen. And that exactly happened with me. I believe everyone has a story to tell. And I've always dreamt and desired to be famous. Now tell me, in terms of the pageant, the preparation, it took one month in Goa. Yes. How was that experience? Are you in touch with your friends still yes, from there? Yes, all of us are in touch and uh, one of my friend Divya Singh from the pageant, I am she, she is going to study fashion designing in Milan. As and a scholarship? Yeah, as a yes. scholarship yes. and Reha, the first runner-up, she's my very dear friend. Even she's going to Milan, so I'm, you know, all these things, we are always in touch with each other, we're talking to each other, what are we doing, what are our future plans. We always have these small reunions whenever we are in Delhi or Bombay. I think I am she is more like a family to me. Uh, when I go, and you know, being the first pageant, like the first batch of the pageant, I think we'll be special throughout our life. So, we're already blessed. Absolutely, and now it's coming right around the corner, <laughs> Miss Universe, and you're going to be representing yes, India. Yes, yes. In Las Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> wow. How, what are you doing to prepare for that? Well, I have my regular training sessions on. I have um, my stylist, Rajat Tangri, who's given me this special Dior dress also, and the shoes too. And um, he has been working with me on my wardrobe. 
a lot of designers are there and that's all secret right now. I'm not going to reveal. No problem. <laughs> we'll be rooting for you. <laughs> yes. But a lot of good things going to happen this year for sure. And uh, I promise, actually I commit that India will do very, very good this time at the Miss Universe. Absolutely. We wish you loads of success. And, is this and I'm already carrying my lucky charm with me from here. Shushmita ma'am is going to be traveling with me. Yeah, that would be excellent. So now tell me, when you, have you ever been to USA before? No. This is my first trip ever outside India. How exciting is that for a young girl? Do you feel like you're living a dream? Las Vegas? I mean, yeah, for sure. It's a dream come true. Do you feel like that? Did you wake up the next day and say, somebody pinch me? Is yeah, real? exactly. You know, the next morning when I woke up, I had this crown in front of me, the sash. And I woke up and um, after I woke up, I was just thinking, did last night really happen? And here was my roommate. She was like, yeah, wake up. <laughs> wake up. It did happen. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, you know, it was, I think this whole pageant was life changing for me and an amazing experience and back full of memories that I'm going to carry always. Next contestant is Oshoshi Sengupta. Before the sun rises, when the first ray of sun comes to earth, that moment is called Oshoshi. Good evening everyone, I'm Oshoshi Sengupta from Kolkata. I call myself a dreamer because I've always dreamt and desired to be famous, really famous. And the one person who has given wings to my dreams, my Baba. He's always told me, Beta, you're more talented than your boss, so try and be one. I love you, Baba. So now when you come to Vegas, how many days before the pageant do you arrive? See, I'm leaving on the 5th of August and 23rd August is the pageant in Vegas. Uh, the pageant will be aired live on 24th August, 4 o'clock in the morning. So here all my, India. yeah, here in India, due to the time difference. All my friends have promised me they're going to watch it as FIFA World Cup. <laughs> and everyone here in the yes, US, you and Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah please root too. for India. Yeah, exactly. And root for her. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do really, really well. Thank you so much. What would you say to young girls out there to motivate them to enter a pageant? Well, if it's not a pageant also, always follow your dreams what you want to do, your passion. And once you're following your dreams, you're, you know, the success will come to you automatically because you are meant to do that. I always wanted to be a model. I had no second options in life. And I knew, you know, 16 years, I always wanted to be Miss Universe and this really happened to me. So the only thing I want to tell all the girls is have faith in the power of visualization. If you can see your dreams coming true, they will come true. It's a pleasure talking to you. We Same wish here. you lots of success. We will be there. Some of us there in person and all of us there in spirit. Rooting you on and keep India's flag going. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, yeah.